Welcome back. Now, avid fans of social media will know the power of the photograph, but it can sometimes be tricky to get that perfect Insta peek. So, if you're on the hunt for a guided tour with a difference, then new Irish company Insta Tours might be exactly what you're looking for. Connor, can you tell us all about the Instatours company? How did you set it up? Yeah, I was kind of hiking in Montenegro, sounding very exotic, and I was climbing the mountain, and as I got to the top, I realized that I'll take a photo. So I got out my phone, took a photo, felt great, put it up on Instagram, got loads of likes, got to the bottom, and then I made a big mistake. I clicked on hashtag Kotor, which is the area, and I realized there was a viewing spot five minutes up from where I was. Uh, that is the best place to take a photo, and I saw the pictures, and I was like, oh, I made a big mistake here. So I just thought to myself, if I had met somebody local who could show me the best spots and kind of teach me how to take these amazing pictures, I would have had that memory in an image that I could look at in years to come where it actually faded from my mind like a day later. So I went home and kind of had a look around the internet. Nobody was doing it, which I was really surprised at. So the idea was born. You're not only in Dublin, but around the country too. So what can people expect when they take an Insta tour? Yeah, we want to shoot amazing Instagrams because image is important. And we do that by bringing you to the most Instagramable spots showing you how to take amazing pictures, teaching you Instagram skills, and sharing stories about the area. Instagram and social media in general has become a great marketing strategy over the years for so many brands and companies. So it's not just people taking selfies on their holidays anymore. No, I, the other thing I was surprised at, Laura, is that we had a lot of influencers come on the tour, or people who are kind of starting their influencer journey to kind of learn a few different techniques. So, you know, you get your great photos, which is fantastic, but what you do after with it is also important in terms of filtering, captioning, hashtags. So if you want to grow your reach, hashtags is actually the best way to do that to get other people's accounts. Well, Connor, I'm on Instagram and I enjoy using it, but I'm pretty terrible at posting photos. Mine are, are probably far too colorful and there's no continuity, but you're going to change all of that today for me. Yeah, today we're going to go off and learn how to kind of get the perfect selfie, how to contrast your colors, how to you know filter correctly. So Laura, I've brought you here on the hands lanes with the umbrellas. Which type of picture would you take here? Uh, well, I know this lane well, and I think the umbrellas are beautiful, so if I was taking a photo, I would just point my camera up and snap. And that's a nice picture indeed, but here with the tour, we're trying to make the pictures cooler. So as we're in Dublin, we can see there's some water on the floor, so maybe we can try to take some water reflection pictures. And if you come closer here, I'm just going to show you that we can try to make a picture cooler with some uh, water reflection shots. I love the Here originality of this. I would never have thought of using a puddle as my inspiration. <laughs> oh, I can see myself, so I gotta move back. Exactly, that's the point. And try to be closer to the water to find the perfect shots. So, Connor, if you can just maybe put your arms on your knees, Try to have your face closer to the camera. Perfect. And then the, the highlight part is that I would like to catch this blue door. But what would be the best for this portrait picture is that to have your face in the middle of the door. So I'm just going to be there. And now the way you are and the way you stand is perfect. I'm just going to grab your nose. So you're going to lock your chest and you're going to just turn your face that way. Perfect. I'll give it a go now, Lisa. Yeah. Lisa, can I ask you, a lot of times when we see portrait photos, yeah. the background is blurred. So how do we achieve that? You're going to use the portrait mode because on the portraits, the goal is to recognize the face. When you take the picture, it will make the background blurry. Lisa, you've shown us how to snap reflections in the puddles and we've also taken portrait snaps at landmark buildings, but here you've taken us to a wall full of graffiti. Yes, and that's the whole thing, because here we're going to try to deal with a tall building and also deal with colours in terms of filters, etc. So what I would recommend here is instead of using the normal panorama mode, like this way, we're going to use the portrait lens. So when I'm going to start to take a picture and then you'll do the same, the fact that we are close to the building, we can catch the wall. I've never used panoramic before, certainly not in landscape. As the picture will be told, you can put it in your Instagram stories and then we'll use hashtags. Don't forget to use the place from where you are and also what you're seeing. Here we can see an art wall from Subset, a group of Irish artists. 
for Instagram, you have to act like a funny way because the content is better, of course. I'm not so good at that. If you want to have like maybe one leg up or show me your hands, okay. I'm going to put my mobile phone upside down because it's easier to try to see the wall building. Here we go. And if you want to jump, even though it would be super funny. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Lisa, it's been such an interesting and fun tour today, and I know that all of the guides on InstaTours are photographers like yourself, but I've Indeed. done enough posing. So can you get in there and I'll see if I've learned anything from sure. you? Sure. <laughs> and then I rate your picture. Okay. Now you're going to have to jump. <laughs> Three, Go. Two, two, one. Here. and Insta Tours are currently operating in Dublin, Cork and Galway as well as several cities in the UK. So you might like to check them out if you fancy perfecting your photography skills. And gentlemen, I can do your wardrobe shots, no problem. I have all the good angles Magic. now. Magic. I normally do yours. I know you do, but, yeah. <laughs> but like, I'm going to get a sense you don't like doing them. No, no. I, no, no, I love doing it. Who would I send the a photo of my me day. dressed like this to... <laughs>